Hi, my name is Roisin Carroll and I'm an analyst here at Presidian. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do chi-squared tests and some tricks to make it easier and faster to do. We will look at how to hide cells with low counts, which will ensure that respondents can't be easily identified. I'll also go through collapsing categories and running chi-squared tests on both your normal table and off of the subtotals. We'll also look at how to highlight significant results and run multiple chi-squared tests within the same tables. So we're working with our survey sample data set, but any data set that you have, you can follow along and it should work. We're going to go back to our custom tables and bring across two of our categoricals. I'm going to take our highest degrees on row and I'm going to look for happiness levels. Now I decided to put the highest degree on the row because it's a variable with the highest number of categories and for ease of reading um, and visibility I always like to put the one with the highest number of categories on the row level. If I put it across here my table becomes quite long. It's automatically gone to count but I want to change that over to percentage. So go in here, I'm going to take out count and put in instead. Nah, I don't want the row, let's put column instead. Now, nah, row is good actually. I'm going to tidy that up and I'm going to remove my decimals and that's fine. So now I have the percentage across all my education levels. I'm going to add in a total for each of those. And my total comes across and if I go back here I kind of want I want a total across here as well and that should work. So it's easy enough to add totals onto both onto rows and columns with just a couple of clicks. I'm going to run that table out and see what it gives me. So you can see the division of happiness labels, levels um, in my data set. I've got 32% of all of my people are very happy and 56 are pretty happy and 12 not too happy. When we look across at my education levels, you know, it seems that our graduates, 46% of our graduates are saying that they are very happy. And then actually only 5% are not too happy. However, in our LT high school, we've got 23% of our people are not too happy. There seems to be a relationship, so I want to investigate that further. And because it's categorical, I'm going to look at a chi-squared test. If you look across here, we've got different options. If you go into test statistics, it'll be easy enough and you'll see how fast and how quick and how easy it is to run multiple tests using these custom tables. I'm going to click on run the test. I set my significance level at 0.05. I'm going to go on to options and I want to have some styling so it's quite easy. I'm going to choose my, I wanted to apply it to my guys square test. I want to base it on my significance and I want to highlight it in yellow. You can change whatever color you want here but yellow is good for me so I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to run that out. That's great. I've now come back with the results from my chi-squared. There does seem to be a relationship and it's easily highlighted so that I can reference this quite quickly when I'm running reports. I don't have to search out for the answer and I can see in all of the chi-squared tests that I'm going to run, I can see if it's significant, it's going to pop out at me like this. I'm going to go back into my custom tables. And one of the great features about custom tables is the ability to build multiple ta like tables, very complex tables, and also multiple um, test statistics on those tables. So I'm going to bring across my labor force. And we saw how if we want the same styling applied, we go in here. I can just say apply to all, and that'll work across. I'm going to need to 
add a ta uh, total because my total is applied to this. Which is, and there we go. We've got my totals. Now I don't need to do anything. These highlighting options are going to apply and my test statistic, my chi-square test is going to run on both of these. So let's have a look. So there's all the results. I can see the happiness level broken down by my working status. So these are 100% of all of the working full time. And the breakdown is 59% are pretty happy, 31 are very happy, 10% are not too happy. So let's have a quick look over here. It seems to be that our retired and temporarily not working are the ones that have the highest percentage answered very happy. And when it comes to not too happy, it seems the unemployed laid off. We've got 43% of that group have said that they are not too happy, which makes sense. And let's have a look, who's our lowest? Okay, it seems like we've got a tie. Oh no, here we go, working full time. It comes back that our chi-squared has said that there is a relationship between happiness and education and happiness and labor force at a significant level of, well, you can see here, it's way below 0 0.05, which is good. Now, I'm going to go back and show you a little tip that can be very useful, especially in today's world where data protection is quite important. So let's just go back and I'm going to just say select all. And I'm going to want to add account. I'll show you why. When I run out this table, it comes clear to me that I have a couple of brackets here with low counts, a couple of cells with low counts. For example, I've got four people in the unemployed laid out off that are saying that they're very happy. Now, it's very important that our respondents are not easily identifiable. And in this case, they could be. In the past, I would have had to do a very complex and long script to hide these cell counts to try and keep their identity uh, obscured. But as we can see with custom tables, there is a lovely little option. If I go to options here, I can now hide those groups at whatever level I want. I'm going to leave it at five, which is what it's automatically set to. But of course, you can change this. Now, what it's done is hidden those cells and it's told me that all I need to know is there are less than five people in this cell. But of course, if I'm running my chi-squared, we all know that you need to have a minimum of five. Now, this doesn't solve that problem. So instead, I'm going to take that off and I'm going to go back. I'm going to collapse some of my categories and make subcategories. So I'm just going to click in here. I'm going to say I'm going to collapse everyone who's not working into one category. And I'm going to hide them. Now that's automatically taken everything above the line. Um, so I'm going to take out, for example, my working full time and my working part time. And I'm going to want to bring up my unemployed. So now I've got the groups that I want together collapsed into this subcategory. Again, like this would have involved recoding variables, creating new variables. Maybe I would have made a mistake along the way. And then even after all that work, it might not have made any difference to my chi-square. It would have involved a huge amount of effort and probably a lot of effort for multiple chi-square tests. Whereas here I can just run them to my heart's content as many as I want and easily start making up subcategories without having to do a lot of um, different messing around. I can also decide if I don't want to keep some of my categories, I can bring them over using exclude. That, snap, that data is now going to be taken out and not included in my tests and not included in my table. Let's run that again. I can now find that I have my subcategory not working, 
my cell counts are all above five, which is great. And that's boost the statistical power of my chi-square test. I can now rely on this result more. Thanks for watching this video on chi-square tests. I hope it's been useful to see how custom tables can allow you to protect a respondent's identity and how to boost the statistical power of your chi-square tests with just a few clicks instead of running a very long script. You'll also find it easier to run multiple chi-square tests within the same table using custom tables. Don't forget to check out our other videos on our website where we will look at running t-tests, how to edit and style your tables, as well as other tips and tricks to help you get the most out of custom tables and SUSS.